Welcome back to Dead End Gaming. I'm Dead End Dragon, and today our topic is proficiency. Well, to be more specific, the bonuses we get for proficiency. And all the proficiency requirements on equipment, materials, and anything really under the crafting spectrum. Let's see what bonuses we can get for those. These boosts come in various ways, such as equipment, furniture, and faction bonuses. We'll start with the easiest one, which is the faction bonus. You can get it at your faction's base statue in Haranya, Nuya, and the Pirate Nation. This boost gives you plus 2,000 to all proficiencies, which can help a bit, but take it, right? It also gives a bunch of other boosts, so you might as well grab it. The boost runs out every 24 hours, so don't forget to re-up it. It's super important. Next bonus is equipment, and these give a slightly larger boost initially. The Dawn's Drop gear you can get off the vocation shop, which you can get either from your character shop on your character sheet screen, or from a vocation shop around town. These Dawn's Drop gear pieces give plus 5,000 to specific proficiencies. So if you have the whole set, it's plus 5,000 to everything, which is super neat. But it only brings us up to plus 7,000, and that's not really a whole ton to jump ranks or anything. But I did say initially, by upgrading the Dawn's Drop gear, we can get another 5,000 boost for each upgrade. The upgrades can be done a total of three times for a maximum bonus from the Dawn's Drop gear of plus 20,000, bringing our new total to 22,000 bonus, which helps us jump a whole rank on the, some of those lower ranks, which is amazing. But we're not done yet. If you own land, or a friend owns land, or if someone's really nice with their fellowship plaza, you can increase proficiencies even further. There's a lot of them, so I'm just gonna toss them up on screen. There isn't a furniture piece for every proficiency, but there's still a lot there and it can be super helpful. So check into those. The next one I have for you is character titles. These can increase your proficiency a bunch, some of them up to 12, plus 12,000, which can be a lot. But from what I've seen, I think it just comes from quests for having high proficiency anyways, so I don't know if this will help a ton, but if you're really trying to get maxed out proficiency, I'd say go for it, it might come in handy. Um, I will throw those up on screen so you can kind of see some of them, but if you want to look further into it and how to get some of those, just go to your character sheet, and at the top, there should be a little icon to click on to open up your changing title, to change your title, and with that, you can click on some of the ones you don't have to investigate and see what kind of quest you'll have to do. The last known way is the money way, the pay shop, oh my gosh. On the marketplace, for your plushie pets, there's equipment that you can equip to your plushie pets to increase your proficiencies. From what I saw, there's only three different things that it can increase proficiency on. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys really like this, and I hope it helps a ton. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video. It helps me out a ton to know that you guys want to see more content like this. And also, let me know in the comments below what you're going to do with your proficiency boost. I'd love to see what you guys are going to craft and make now with the extra proficiency. And with that, I'll see you all next time.